going on everybody? It's your favorite Auntie Mo. We are back for another episode review of Catfish. This is season 7, episode 39, Avion and Cherie. Before we get into the review, if you have not done so just yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Stop playing. Go ahead and do it. The button is right down there on the bottom. Uh, let me know what you think of this video with a thumbs up or a thumbs down and hit the notification button so you will know whenever I upload new content. Y'all, first of all, I know what you're saying. Auntie, what happened to episode 38 of Catfish? I'm going to tell you what happened. It was boring as hell. It was boring as hell. It was hard for me to get through the episode. Even harder for me to try to put together a review for it. So I'm going to give you a little summary of it. It was this dude. Found this chick on Facebook. They ended up getting close. He ended up meeting her. She was who she was. But personality wise, she really wasn't who she was. They fell in love. Fell out of love. She left his ass. That was the end of the story. That was episode 38. We are now on episode 39, y'all. This episode was good, too. I hope y'all enjoyed this review. I'm ready to give it to you. Hope you're ready for it. Let's get right on into it. Y'all, so Neve co-host once again was old fine-ass Justin Combs. Old Puff Daddy, big-head-ass son. He was so goddamn cute. We have 26-year-old um, Cherie. She's been talking to 29-year-old Avion. They're both from Baltimore, right? Now, he lives in Baltimore, where she is. They've never talked on the phone, never met, and he don't have no social media. Bitch, that's a catfish. That should have been the, the end of the episode right there. That's strike one, two, and three, okay? That should have been the episode right there. But wait, y'all. It gets better. So Cherie says she at work one day, chilling, working hard, hardly working. She get a text message from some random, and it's like, hey, girl, I want you. I've been watching you. So she like, ooh, motherfucker, who is this? So she says that she answers back and was like, who the hell is you? Like, what's going on? This fool is like, I've been watching you, and if you want to know who I am, you got to follow my rules. Like, I'm going to give you clues so you can find out who the hell I am. On some old real stalker 50 shades of gray ass type shit or whatever, right? So finally she gets little clues or whatever. This person claims that she sold him a laptop ever since then he's been feeling her or whatever, right? Real goddamn weird. So he gives her little clues as to who he could be. She says she's looking all through her sales receipts, trying to figure out who the fuck this person could be. She's asking her co-workers, asking her friends, family. She says everybody knows about this so-called person that's been named Avion, who she sold a laptop to that's been like kind of stalking her, like sexy, seductively stalking her, whatever, right? So one night, they were supposed to meet up, whatever, right? He gives her an address to a hotel where they're supposed to meet up at. Now, she said she was a little hesitant because she was like, nigga, what the hell are you trying to meet up at a hotel for? Like, what the fuck? So he sends her a reservation of all his information and a confirmation to the hotel of where he's going to be at, right? So she said she'd take her home, girl, just in case she get crazy. You know what I'm saying? You always got to have a home girl that's ready to ride out on them hoes and do whatever. So her and her home girl go to the hotel. They're down at the bar waiting 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 this dude don't goddamn show up so she says she goes and she shows the confirmation of the hotel reservation to the people at the front desk and have them look it up to see like hey do you have this guy here you know i'm supposed to be meeting this guy here people at the front desk look it up they like um oh, ma'am i think that's a fake reservation that you got so she like what the fuck so she looks at it pays more attention and was like she could tell that it was choppy so this motherfucker has sent her a fake reservation to a hotel where he's supposedly supposed to be at right Later on, she says she calls him. He claims that he got pulled over, and that's the reason that they couldn't meet up. Y'all, it was sketchy from the get-go. He, just the way he was sending her little clues, like, trying to just, it was, it was stalkerish. It was real goddamn weird. He never sent her any goddamn pictures, but two pictures, two pictures in five months. But this motherfucker know everything about you. Aside from face, facial pictures, they sending each other nudes because he's asking her for pictures. Like, it's it's real goddamn weird. Again, she's only got two pictures of him, but he's asking her for all kind of pictures. I'm going to give you clues to who the hell I am. Bitch, five months later, it wouldn't even took that damn long. It took a couple days. Nigga, if I can't see who the hell you are, we can't talk on the phone. No. Uh-uh. 
not for the do it. So after they meet up with Cherie to get some more information about Avion, Neve and Justin go off to do their little investigation, whatever, right? So they do a Google search on him. They can't find anything up on pictures, no social media, no nothing. So they do a Google search on the phone number and they see that the phone number is a landline, but there's no other information that's connected to it. So Neve knows typically that means that it's a text app. It's not a real phone number. So whoever this is that's been communicating with Cherie has been talking to her ass through a damn text app so they already know she ain't or he ain't who the fuck they say he is right so the only other thing that Neve and them can do they go on a community chat group or whatever for Odin um, Maryland wherever they are because it's a small town where he claims that he's from that's near Baltimore right so they go on a community um, chat room or whatever uh facebook group and so they're like you know we're looking for this guy his name is avion whitaker here's pictures of him if anybody knows this guy please get in contact with me right so they get a message from this woman named monica whitaker claiming to be the fucking wife of avion she wants the phone number so she can call and even then back find out who the hell this is and what the hell is going on so they end up calling i'm um, getting um Homegirl ends up calling Neve, and so she like, who is this? You know, what's going on? He like, hi, this is Neve from Catfish. We're filming an episode, and we believe that maybe your husband has been talking to other women. She was like, yeah, well, come to find out, I found out he been talking to some bitch named Cherie, or Sherry, or Cherry, or some shit like that. He's been using this fake name, Avion, to talk to women. Neve like, what the fuck? So Neve is like, okay, well, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry to hear about what the hell is going on with y'all's little relationship and all of that. But can we meet up? Can we talk? Because we're trying to get some answers for Cherie. Because um, the wife, Monica, is like, I told this motherfucker when I found out that he was doing this a few months ago, I told him to stop. But obviously, he ain't stopped. He's still up to something. So Neve is like, oh, shit. Well, can we go ahead and meet up with you? Because, you know what I'm saying, we, we can get answers for you and for Cherie. You know what I'm saying? What's up? What's good? So the wife agrees to meet up with them, but then it's like, um, I don't know if she deserves answers anyway because um, I'll meet up with y'all, but I don't, wanna, I don't want Cherie to come, that old home-wrecking bitch. And he was like, whoa, okay, slow down, pump your brakes. We ain't got to bring her along. You know, me and you can just meet up for right now. We can try to get some answers, and then, you know what I'm saying, we can just move on from there. We ain't got to call nobody no names just yet, you know, because, now, wait a minute. What's your husband doing? Your husband out here the one catfishing bitches using different names, but she the home record, really, sis? So they go to the address that the wife gives them to meet up or whatever, right, so they can sit down and talk. So Neve and Justin in there, they waiting, they waiting, they waiting. Finally, they get a text message from the wife, Monica. She's like, you know what? I've changed my mind. I don't want to blow up my marriage on national TV because I have kids. And Neve is like, well, fuck. You know what I'm saying? I understand you upset, but really, we just trying to get answers for Cherie. So can you help us at least? Can we at least talk to your husband so we can get these answers for Cherie? The wife, Monica, going to text back. That bitch knew that he was married. She don't deserve anything. No. We ain't meeting up. We ain't talking. We ain't doing none of that. Neve like, what the fuck is really going on? So Neve and Justin go back and they meet up with Sherry, right? And they tell Sherry everything that they find out about, you know, what the wife said, this, that, and the other. Now, Sherry is like, I don't even know who the fuck this, this man is, let alone his wife or that he's married. I never had any conversations with no woman. None of that. So Neve and them is like, you know, well, let's do a search on Monica's number. They end up doing a Google search on Monica's number. Come to find out, it's a text app number too. So Neve and them is like, well, what are the fucking odds that he has a text app number and the wife has a text app number too? Like... What's really good? So they like, well, fuck it. Let's just call Avion. They call Avion. He don't answer the phone. So tech, um, Neve ends up sending him a text message. was like, you know, what's up? This is Neve. I'm filming an episode of Catfish. I have Cherie here with me. We trying to get down to the bottom of everything that's going on. What's good? Can we meet up? What's hood or whatever, right? So he ends up texting back right away and was like yeah i'm ready to go ahead and meet up with sheree i'm ready to go ahead and just you know reveal who i am and get this on up out the way so wait a minute why was this so easy for you to just be like okay i'm gonna go ahead i'm ready we can go ahead and meet up what's good because even then was like you know that was just real fucking weird 
Next thing you know, Avion supposedly sends screenshots of a message between him and the supposed wife, Monica, right? Now, the text message says, I just met up with Catfish. I don't want to do this anymore. And then um, he replies back like, well, I'm going to go ahead and reveal who I am. The wife is like, I don't want nothing to do with this, yada, yada, yada. And even them look at the phone number, it's the same number. So it's like the nigga Avion was texting himself back and forth. It was weird as fuck, y'all. Weird as hell. Never seen nothing like that before on Catfish before where the nigga is texting himself, replying and answering back to it. Weird as hell. Finally, Avion texts back and was like, um, cause Neve ended up texting him and was like, I hope that you really are who you say you are. I'm ready to meet up with you because you know, your wife or whoever stood us up last time. So hopefully you are who you claim you are. Avion gonna reply back, yeah, I'm ready to meet up, but Cherie don't deserve anything. That bitch deserves everything that's happening to her cause she's a fucking home wrecker. What? Y'all, the next day, they get to the spot to meet up with Avion. Lord have mercy. The garage door open up. Y'all, it's a nigga in a wheelchair named Buddy. Her and um, this nigga named Buddy used to be friends. He said that he called her one day on the phone. They were friends, whatever, right? He claims that he called her and her phone was off and he paid the phone bill and she never paid him back for the phone bill. So he had to come up with this character or this persona, Avion, basically to shame her and to get back at her. That was his way of getting back at her. What it was, I'm gonna give you my goddamn summary from a real bitch. He was feeling her ass, she wasn't feeling him back. So he figured, what the hell can I do to try to make her love me or like me? He calls her, he notices, oh, her phone is off, so let me go ahead and put a little something, something on a phone bill. He pays the phone bill. She like, oh, well, nigga, thank you. I didn't tell you to do that show, appreciate it, but thank you. Next thing you know, all of a sudden, you owe me money. Nigga, what? She didn't ask him to pay the phone bill. At least it's what she's, a, she's claiming. She didn't ask him to pay the phone bill. This nigga paid the phone bill because he wanted to pay the goddamn phone bill. They were friends. So she thought. So he figures, okay, I'm going to go ahead and pay her phone bill. And then, lo and behold, you want to flip the script and talk about a bitch owe you money. But y'all supposed to be friends. Y'all, he did all this shit made all this shit up because in my opinion he was feeling her ass she wasn't feeling his ass back so this was his way of getting back at her y'all he was talking about her ass horribly calling her a scumbag and horrible and she's a horrible person so why not do whatever i can do to degrade her he's talking about i never asked her to send me any new pictures she's just a horrible slutty person so she did that on her own mind you neve seen the text messages where this nigga was all 50 shades of gray and shit asking her for pictures of of naked pictures of herself he was even sending he had fake dick pics that he was sending her back like this nigga was on some real creep shit then he had his home girl home girl named desiree she was playing the role of monica whitaker the wife now this bitch got the same energy that homeboy buddy in the wheelchair got She's talking about, well, I helped him do this because I know that she's done this to him and she's done that to him and yada, yada, yada. Like, Cherie was pissed. I was pissed. Neve was irritated as hell. Justin was even irritated. They're like, nigga, you went through all of this over a few dollars? He was like, well, she claimed she was going to pay me back. She never paid me back. I've been waiting on my money. She claimed that when she got her commission check, she would pay me back when she got her commission check. She kept ducking and dodging me. So you decided to come up with a fake persona and pretend to be this person to do what? To do what? Y'all was weird as hell. It was weird as hell. There was no point of him doing that. He just basically wanted to shame her. So... You pretended to be this whole different person. Like I said, he was feeling her ass. She wasn't feeling him back. He went and paid a little something, something on the phone bill thinking that this was going to make her like his ass. And she ain't like him back. So, y'all, two months later, 
Neve does like the little check in with them. Of course, she ain't talked to fucking buddy. She like, hell no. I don't want to be the nigga friend as it was. Then he went and pulled this whole crazy ass shit. I'm damn sure not going to be this nigga friend. He follows up with Buddy and Desiree. These motherfuckers still got the same energy. Like, yeah, she deserved it. She's a horrible person. She deserved it. Now, I'm not saying Sheree is completely innocent because you never know what a person has done or, you know, behind closed doors or whatever. You never know. But this shit right here, this shit right here that I can see with thine eyes, what you've done, is crazy as hell. Crazy as fuck fuck y'all that was the end of the episode right there y'all i hope y'all enjoyed this review if you can go back and watch the episode this episode was definitely watch worthy it was crazy as hell if you've already watched it comment down below and let me know what y'all thought about this shit because that motherfucker was crazy i hope y'all enjoyed the review please like comment subscribe and share and auntie will see y'all in the next video peace out what's up y'all do me a favor and share the video please make sure to subscribe to my channel let me know what you think and um hit that notification button so you will be up to date when i upload my latest videos i holla